Hi, I'm Milton Dahoney, Cincinnati City Manager. Cincinnati is experiencing a wave of momentum, positive results, and positive feelings about the city because of all the hard work that's taking place in the city. There are new places for shopping, dining, and entertainment, as well as new places to live. We've got places like Fountain Square and the Aronoff Center, and we've got residential places like the Gateway Quarter and Over the Rhine. And whole new areas under development like those around the University of Cincinnati. In fact, between downtown and uptown, we have two of the biggest employment centers in the region, with more than 130,000 workers. What we have to do now is make sure we take advantage of all the great things that make Cincinnati all it can be. A city that people choose to visit, to develop businesses in, and to live in. The proposed streetcar system connects so many of the positive things going on in Cincinnati. And that helps us to attract new workforce talent, new investment, new jobs, and gives our city a new competitive edge. Streetcars aren't new to Cincinnati, but we can accomplish some new goals by bringing them back in a new way. We're competing for workers and residents in a global marketplace, and we need to offer people an environment that is exciting, sustainable, and easy to live in, and streetcars help us do that. So just what exactly is a streetcar? Well, it's a modern electric car with a single overhead wire. It runs on a fixed rail installed beneath the surface of the street and it travels about 13 miles per hour. Our streetcar will operate 18 hours per day all year round with about a 10 minute wait between cars during the peak operating hours. It's accessible so it's easy to bring a bike, stroller or wheelchair onto it and it operates alongside regular traffic. This isn't a bus and it isn't light rail. We're not talking about moving people from one end of Cincinnati to another or commuting to and from work. We're offering a way to get to business meetings, to grab lunch at a new restaurant, to meet up with friends for drinks or dinner, or to go to shopping downtown without having to get into your car, drive and park for every place you want to go. Streetcars are, however, a great way to connect uptown and downtown, to connect our existing investments and invite new development, to create jobs and generate revenue. Most of all, to make Cincinnati an exciting place to live, work, and play. And just where is this streetcar going to take me? Well, the streetcar would essentially start at the banks, and then loop through downtown and over the Rhine. At the top of the loop, the streetcar would extend up to the uptown neighborhoods, home to several hospitals, University of Cincinnati, and the zoo, and then back downtown to continue the loop. That route connects the banks, Fountain Square, Aronoff Center, Gateway Quarter, Finley Market, the new SPCA, music hall and other sites. Will all of those attractions be connected by one system, we're looking at a serious return on investment, 2.7 to 1 benefit to cost, and an economic impact of 14 to 1 once the streetcar is operating. These projections are based on a study by a national expert on streetcars, HDR, and verified by the University of Cincinnati's Economic Center for Education and Research. The streetcar's impact would be strongest within an area of three blocks on each side of the track. This map shows you exactly where the development would take place. Some of this development could take place on the 92 acres of surface parking lots along the route or on other vacant lots and underutilized buildings in the downtown and over the Rhine areas. Developers and entrepreneurs have a chance to enjoy a stable infrastructure with consistent foot traffic. Those who live, work, and do business along the streetcar route are going to see increased property values and increased accessibility to downtown attractions. 
The city of Cincinnati gains from the increased revenues from new and increased business. This new stream of revenue can be used to improve services in all of our neighborhoods. The investment we're talking about is not a small one. 128 million for the system in total. That includes buying the cars, engineering the system, and actually laying the tracks. The city of Cincinnati is making an investment with streetcars. We're asking for your assistance with this project so that we can all share the benefits that a streetcar can bring to our city. We're already seeing development taking place thanks to previous investments that have been made. We're poised to take the next step and connect all of our progress with this one system. It's time to build a streetcar system in Cincinnati and give our city the competitive edge that it needs.